What is up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're doing something a bit different today. We're ranking baseball movies. Now you've seen tons of tier lists. They're always fun to look at and argue with. And uh, I figure out I gotta get in on it because I love ranking stuff. It's basically what I do for a living as a fantasy baseball writer. So why not rank some baseball movies? Now I have not seen all of these. This is a pretty robust list. And because they cut off some of these uh, uh, movie posters, I can't tell what they are. Like, I don't know what the heck this is. This like dweeby kid here. Looks like a cartoon of some sort. I don't know. I am streaming this on Twitch, twitch.tv slash spore. So maybe chat can help me out there. But for the most part, uh, for the most part, we're ignoring chat. YouTube, it's just us, okay? Don't, don't worry about chat, okay? They don't mean anything to me, okay? It's all about you. Twitch chat, I'm just kidding. I, I can't stand these clowns. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm caught, I'm caught. I love everybody equally. Let's just get into it. Okay, we're gonna start at the very top here. And I'm just, I'm not, we're not even going to get cute with it. You guys know how much I love the Sandlot and I do find it elite. Now, there is kind of the, you have to understand what a movie's going for too, right? We're not always ranking these in terms of, you know, Oscar quality, because frankly, there aren't that many that are Oscar quality. I, I don't I don't care about that though, right? I, I think when people start to rank stuff like movies um, and they get into like technical aspects of it, it's like that's fine if that's what you want to do. But I want I want to be talking about what I enjoyed, what I like to watch. Now sometimes that's going to veer off the path that people agree with. This one does not though. Most people like the sand a lot. They understand its greatness. The nostalgia is is massive for me. I'm somebody who was uh, growing up. I was at, right in the age group when this movie came out. Saw it in the theaters multiple times. So I mean, it's a wheelhouse movie. There's no way it's not elite for me. Got to meet uh, Squints and uh, you know, he even realized that I look more like Squints now than he does, but that's because he looks like an adult and I look like a child, so that's actually a diss on me. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's a badass. Uh, we went to see, my girlfriend and I went to see, the Alamo Draft House has these rolling road shows and it was out in this big field. Um, he was there, uh, Squints was, Ham and Smalls, and they were awesome, really cool dudes. It was a really fun event. Uh, it was in the summer of 19, that was badass, so. Let's keep it going with ones that I love here before we get into some controversial stuff. And I'm not, I'm again, come on, Moneyball. Number one uh, top dog there, or at least number one uh, tier, I should say. The number one for me is indeed the Sandlot. These won't necessarily all be in order. We're gonna focus more on the tier that they're in as opposed to where they rank within the tier. But this is kind of a one-two punch. These are probably my two favorite baseball movies overall. Moneyball might be my favorite book ever. Um, not to get too over the top about it, but it, it kind of changed my life. And and what I mean by that is it is it opened my eyes as a way of analyzing baseball and appreciating the game that I was obsessed with and kind of made me like way more inch, dialed up everything I cared about in terms of baseball, whether it was fantasy or real life aspects. I started writing a lot more about it and eventually it became my career. So I it's not too far-fetched to say that Moneyball changed my life, given the way it turned uh, how I started to think about baseball and where I ended up on my career path. So I hold the movie in high esteem as well. I will say, when I first found out they were going to make a movie about Moneyball, I was like, how the hell is that going to work? I have no idea. And then all these big names were starting to be tied to it. And then it gets down to it's, it's Brad Pitt and Aaron Sorkin. And I'm like, yo, this... This could absolutely work, and it did. It absolutely worked. I thought they did an excellent job with it. There are iconic scenes in it, and they turned a baseball book about analytics into a compelling movie in a very good way. So, great work there. Let's uh, let's let's stay hot. Let's stay hot here. I'm, I'm I'm putting 42 in the elite as well. I really really enjoyed this movie. I thought the way they kind of can find it. You know, sometimes biopics. And by the way, please. If you're somebody who says biopic instead of biopic, punch yourself in the throat a, a couple times, okay? Because you're a clown. Stop that. That's It's embarrassing, okay? Everyone is embarrassed when they hear you say biopic because they don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you sound like a moron, so stop saying it. It's biopic. 
But a lot of times when they do these, they try they try to get a little bit overreaching, I feel like. They, they try to cover the entire life of somebody instead of kind of boiling it down a little bit more. I thought 42 did a good job with that. Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, absolute stud, taken away from us far too soon. I thought he did a brilliant job handling the role of Jackie. I thought it was a really good movie as well. Now let's get into a movie that uh, might be a little divisive. I've seen this movie a million times. I don't know if I actually like it or if MLB Network has simply jammed it down my throat to the point where I find Summer Catch something that I would watch again for like the five billionth time. <laughs> I mean, come on, it, it's not very good, but it's about the Cape Cod League, Freddie Prince Jr awful on-screen athlete his his motion looks terrible they got to do a lot of work there uh, uh to make it work for him but jessica beale's really good in it Re Brittany murphy rest in peace was great in it. it it's it's a hokey movie you know exactly how it's gonna go but there's some good cameos in it and it's it's, it's kind of fun it's kind of fun it's 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 not very good it's not very good but i would watch again because i keep watching it i keep watching it. every summer i watch it like five times i'm gonna be network stop Stop making me watch it. I, I don't necessarily recommend it if you haven't seen it. Like, it's not something that you must get out there and see. I'm going to go back to the top again real quick and just get Bull Durham up there because I love Bull Durham. I think it's awesome. It does it does such a great job capturing the essence of the minor leagues. I mean, at least as far as I know. I've never played in the minor leagues, so I can only speak to it to a certain level. But ball players that talk about it, hit on that point a lot too they talk about how well it does kind of capture that grind with what it does with their baseball scenes costner is one of the best uh movie athletes of all time especially baseball but i mean he does uh, he's done other sports too obviously tin cup uh, was very good but he's excellent in baseball movies he has multiples of them because he, he understands he understands that that works for him susan sarandon i mean listen if you watch that movie and you don't have a crush on Annie Savoy, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. Like, maybe that's just not where you're at, but it's hard not to, man. Uh, someone like that, she's that into baseball, oof. It, it, it definitely works. Good movie, Bull Durham, uh, big time winner. Now, this Field of Dreams, speaking of Kevin Costner, is overrated. Now, the real factor is I don't care to see it because I haven't seen Field of Dreams. <laughs> And I don't feel bad about it, okay? Go play in your cornfield with your ghosts, all right? I don't want to hear it. I haven't really been that interested in seeing it as the Twitch chat clears out. And you know what? Go have a catch. First off, it's play catch. Shut up with have a catch. Secondly, go eat some corn on your stupid field in Iowa. I don't care. I don't boo me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm never going to see it. You can't make me. 61. Um, I'd watch it again. 61's fine. I don't think it's trash at all. So, And I don't think it's really overrated. I don't think it's rated that highly. So I, I don't know how it could be overrated. I think it's fine. I think they did a good job with it. I would definitely watch it again. Uh, for sure. So that's kind of an easy peasy one. <sighs> Mr. 3000. Bernie Mac realizes that he didn't get enough hits to actually have 3,000. He's got to come back when he's, a uh, you know, more aged and uh, has to collect some hits. It's not very good, but I've watched it a lot. <laughs> and I'd probably watch it again, man. I'm a sucker for baseball movies. But as Patrick uh, Willem said on YouTube, he, he does a, a full channel about movie commentary. He says baseball is the best movie sport. And he's dead on about that. Like, that's obviously I have bias. I'm obsessed with baseball. It's hard to say I don't have any bias, but you watch that and you're like, oh yeah, that completely checks out. Even if you're not as obsessed of a baseball fan as I am. And I, I think it, because it plays so well in film, it allows movies that are otherwise mediocre or outright bad to still be somewhat enjoyable if you love baseball enough. And to that end, I've seen this movie so many times. And you know what? I'm not embarrassed, okay? I'm not embarrassed because it's it's the second best Kevin Costner baseball movie, okay? 
the second best one behind Bull Durham. That's for the love of the game. He's a tiger in it. That obviously plays a role for me. I had a pretty big crush on Kelly Preston when I was younger. I mean, what's wrong with that? She's she's a babe. Well, she was a babe. Rest in peace. What do we, man? Why are, why are all these folks in these baseball movies passed away? Um, but yeah, again, not like Vince Scully's announcing it. John C. Riley is like perfect as a catcher. If John C. Riley played baseball, he'd be a catcher. That was a, that was a perfect piece of casting. So. Listen, I'm not. I'm never going to get in an argument with somebody and tell them that For Love of the Game is some great masterpiece. But I've seen it 80 billion times, and I'll probably watch it again. So just zip it, okay? Speaking of one I am unabashedly into, Fever Pitch is elite. <laughs> okay, it's not actually elite, but I want to put it above Wood Watch again. There should be like a, a tier in the middle there. Let me tell you why. First off, first off, Jimmy Fallon is basically me. So that it rings pretty true there that um, relationships can be difficult, particularly to start for me if they if they were to start during baseball season, uh, I, it would be difficult to kind of get that off the ground there, given my availability. So I, I, I related to that. He's not a very good actor. He wasn't great in it. Drew carried it, but Drew Barrymore, America's sweetheart, um, she was great. And, and, and did a great job in it. So I'm saying great a bunch. I, I like Fever Pitch. There's a lot of stuff in it that I really like and connect with. Like I said, the baseball obsession of Fallon. Um, I like when they're like doling out the uh, season tickets and everything. I don't really give a shit about the Red Sox. Sorry, Red Sox fans. So that part of it, like uh, I'm sure would hit harder if I were a Red Sox fan. But, but I still enjoy it. I enjoy that movie. I know it's not even originally done about baseball. It's about soccer um, and all that. But I thought it translated pretty well. I, I would love to see it maybe have been redone with somebody else. Why didn't Drew Barrymore just link back up with Justin Long? I think that would have played perfectly. But again, despite Fallon, I'm putting it up there. And again, Listen, I see my Twitch chat asking, how is it elite? I'm saying I wish there was a tier in between elite and would watch again because I really do like that movie and it's more than that I would just sit through it. I actually like it. I, 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 will, I will keep it on purposefully and not just get sucked into it. I'm like, oh, Fever Pitch is on? Well, I'm gonna keep that on right now, okay? So that's what, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. We could have reordered the tiers. Th these were not my tiers. I just went with what what the default was here, and um, all I did was change. They had the colors where Elite was red, and it went from red down to green, which didn't really sit well with me. But I will say that I could have done better tiers. But we're we're rolling with it, okay? We're freaking rolling with it, and let's continue on here. Bad news bears. You know, I don't think it's Elite, but I'd absolutely watch again. This would be in that extra tier. Can I? Maybe I can add a tier. How do you do that? Add a row above, boom. Um, let's see, what do I wanna do for that? I wanna make it this color. Actually, hang on. We're, we're adjusting on the fly here. Blue is like ultra. Well, that's not really blue there. Blue is like uber best, okay? So new, that's not what we want. Um, let's just call it, let's just call it very good. Like it's not, it's not it doesn't have to be special. Uh, I really like these, okay, how about that? I really like these. <laughs> Just to the point, right? You get it, okay? That There, I took Fever Pitch out of Elite, okay? Okay, now, now these are like favorites that I fully grant have flaws. And again, we're not talking about these. Not every one of these, in fact, most of these, I don't give a shit about their cinematography, okay? Are they enjoyable movies? Do I wanna sit down for two hours with them and watch these movies, okay? So don't get hung up on like, oh, the acting wasn't good or the script was bad. Oh, you care about scripts now when you watch movies? Okay, dweeb. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that movie fucking sucks, bro. All right. How about Trouble with Writing a Movie? Trouble with the Curve is garbage and it's unmitigated trash too. And listen, I come in predisposed to liking a lot of this cast. I like JT. He's engaging on screen. I like a lot of I liked a lot of his older music. I haven't really listened to any of the new stuff, but the whole like uh, sexy back era, very much in suit and tie era. I, I dug JT, okay? Whatever. Um, Amy Adams always puts in good work. She's a solid, she's like an Anthony Rendon level actor, maybe a little bit higher. 
but she's like a, a star, a superstar even. Maybe not top of the scale, but then like that second tier. She always comes to play. Matthew Lillard, he's good, but he suck, he's good overall, but he sucks in this role as like the, the, um, the analytics guy. He makes analytics people look like assholes. We're not, we're not assholes like that, okay? Fuck you if you think we're assholes like that. We don't even fucking behave. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, he doesn't really work, even though he's obviously right that Clint Eastwood is well past his prime and sucks. I don't really like Clint Eastwood in it. I don't, you know, it, the, the like uber gruff, <laughs> gargling his lines is a little over the top. It's just a shit movie, okay? It's a shit movie and I don't like it. And listen, I, I can get behind some some low lower quality fare. So that tells you how bad this is that I went straight trash without a doubt. It wasn't even difficult. Major League is indeed elite, okay? That's all there is to it. Now, I didn't come up with the movies for this, so Major League 2 is not on here, I don't believe, and certainly not Major League 3. If I were going to add one, I would put Major League 2 on there, and I'd probably put it under Would Watch Again. Um, but it doesn't matter. You got the best one here. That's all you really need to focus on. Major League is excellent. Bob Euchre as the announcer. Charlie Sheen playing Vaughn. I mean, there, there's so much greatness in here. Dennis Hasbert is Pedro Serrano. Um, freaking Dorn, Corbin Burnson getting absolutely smoked by pitches. You love it. The manager, what's his name? Lou Brown. Um, I think that's his actual name in the movie. Not I, I was saying real actors, and then I went I went for his character name. The whole premise, it's awesome. Major League is a classic, and it's it's easy to go elite with that one. I wasn't even going out on any sort of limb here. Uh, let's see here, the rookie. That's with uh, uh, Dennis Quaid. That's that's fine. That's fine. You know, it's Disney fair, right? So again. Always understand what you're getting and what it's trying to do. Don't ask more from a movie than it's willing to offer. It's offering you standard Disney fare. And if you're um, amenable to that, then you're gonna enjoy the movie because it, it delivers. It gives the high notes that you want. I still think the classic throwing it past the uh, past the uh, 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 speed limit sign that they have, the like impromptu one that they put up on some roads, and then it flashes the extra the extra lights there to show exactly how fast he threw it. That's still a classic scene. I, I, I really, I really, really like that. Uh, while we're talking rookies, let's go with rookie of the year. And Henry Rowan Gartner is indeed elite. This is an excellent movie. Now, I was again blessed to be in this era. By the way, what happened to uh, kids sports movies, uh, they, they have just, they're gone, man. But the, I hit, I got to hit a peak of them with things like the Sandlot Rookie of the Year. Little, it's Little Big League not on here? Cause if so, that's a fucking travesty, dude. Yeah, whoever made this is a, does it say who made this? Hey, oh, pff. of course it was a Mets person. Of course they had to fuck it up because it's a Mets person. I think Scuffy's in here right now. I just lost a friend. But Little Big League, where is it? It's it's right where? 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 I don't like that I can't see these. Oh, is, is this it? Sorry, I, I'm unfamiliar with this. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I took an unnecessary shot at Mets fans, and then the Mets fan in the Twitch chat, Scuffy McGee, actually helped me. So who's a piece of shit now? It's your boy, Paul. Coming straight at you. Um, okay, so it is there. Pardon me, okay? I was not on line about roasting the Mets, though. Anyway, Rookie of the Year is excellent. Um, you know, when when he when he loses it and he has to figure out what to do, when he goes up to the bat and he's, like, terrified, because why wouldn't you be? That would be so scary as a kid. Um, it's just, it's, it's a great movie. It's a classic, and I love, I love uh, Rookie of the Year. I also love Little Big League, like I said, so I'm putting that straight up in Elite. It's even better. In fact, if we, you know, like I said, we're not necessarily ranking these, but if we are, let's let's go ahead and get at least the elite tier in the right order for me. This is this is how I feel. Little Big League's excellent, dude. So his grandpa gives him like wills him the team as a kid, and he decides to put himself as the manager. So he's got like win over all these adults. Um, he turns into an asshole and starts you know ditching his friends renting a whole bunch of porn in the uh, uh on the road like a like a true boss um and 
<laughs> and then his mom dates the first baseman, who she's definitely a foot taller than. We love to see that. Women, you know, not uh, focused on height. Doesn't really bother me. I'm 6'5", but I, fe I feel you, short kings. I feel you out there. This movie, you should love this movie, okay? Because they're in a way that, uh, what's his name? Timothy Busfield is taller than like 5'7", and Homegirl was pushing like 6'1", for sure. And that's, we love to see that, okay? That's height acceptance that we need in the world. Uh, so this movie was ahead of its time. But no, he was great. All the little... Um, stereotypical type ball players, the asshole who's just there to cash his checks and doesn't really care and tries to undermine the kid, um, the guys who kind of like rally around him, including the first baseman who then he turns on because he's banging his mom. Oh, you bang one kid's mom and all of a sudden he doesn't want to be your friend. Jeez Louise. Um, Jonathan Silverman, if you, if you grew up in the 90s, you'll remember him because they gave him like 42 sitcoms. None of them worked. Uh, sorry, single guy fans. But anyway, Little Big League absolutely does work. Griffey's, oh, oh, yeah, spoilers. But if you haven't seen a movie that's from the 90s, like, fuck you, I don't have to give spoiler alerts. Um, they were so daring, and it works so well, that they made Griffey the villain, and they don't have the happy ending that you think is going to happen. Like, oh, they're going to hit the home run, and it's all going to work. No, Griffey fucking yoinks that shit at the Metrodome, and ends it, and that was such a boss move. Like, they don't, like, Rookie would never do that. Disney movie would not do that, you know? Kids movies usually give you that payoff. This one gave you completely different, and I thought it absolutely worked. Little Big League, if you haven't seen it, Run Around Sue montage is pure brilliance. Um, the Natural, is overrated okay it is now here's the thing as with a lot of things that are overrated it doesn't mean that it's bad that's not what i'm saying Derek jeter's overrated he's a walk-in hall of famer one of the best players ever and yet he's still overrated because he's a dog shit defender and he should have moved off short when a-rod got there because a-rod was exponentially better than him thus overrated also flip play garbage slide next time jeremy giambi you stupid stupid idiot um the natural it's overrated okay i like a lot of things from it um but also if you've read the book if you're a fucking dork who reads like me <laughs> nice glasses geek uh you know that they they take a they take a completely different path with things it's not bad and i would recommend that people watch it but eh. I don't know. Yeah, fever pitch over over the natural because it's my list, chat. And I'm talking about first off, I you're you're judging it based on the tier being up here and this down here. I really like this. If I'm going like in straight quality, I might still like put the the natural above it. But like, I don't want to watch the natural again. I don't find it that engaging. I'll watch fever pitch again because I'm seeing myself be depicted on screen as a fucking giant baseball dweeb. Okay. So, I don't want to hear it. Zip it. Speaking of Disney, I believe that's John Hamm, yeah? Million Dollar Arm. That's a good movie. That's a good movie. Okay, again, you know what you're getting, and it delivers, okay? And I believe, I believe co-star is Lake Bell, which, that's an automatic dub. Like, you're, you're starting from ahead at that point, if, if, if you've cast Lake Bell. Like, that is... That's a, that's a dub. Um, I went to go look it up and I accidentally looked up Million Dollar Baby and failed. So, I'm an idiot. Um, but I'm just making sure, I'm just making sure I got my, my stuff right. Yeah, it was Lake Bell. She's great. Um, also check her out in a movie called In a World, which was also very good. Lake Bell, underrated. Excellent. Brockmire is a TV show. That's why it's not here. Um, all right. Next up, we have Benchwarmers. I really like Benchwarmers. It's stupid. Again, this is about... Un oh, you got freaking Benchwarmers over Field of Dreams and the Natural? That's unbelievable, dude. I enjoy watching Benchwarmers, okay? It delivers on what I want, which is some stupid, dumb humor and some dumbass, ridiculous jokes. And that's where we're at with it, okay? It's silly, it's funny, and I enjoy it. 
I especially like the part where they make fun of him for saying athlete, because I do hate, and this is only happens with like TV, former ball players who turn into TV personalities, they always say athlete. It's just athlete, dude. Is it really that big of a deal? Probably not, but it's nauseating. It's just athlete, okay? Let's get some of the ones out of the way that I haven't seen. I don't even know what the hell this is. I don't wanna say it looks good, but I just haven't seen it before. So what, actually, you know what? Trash, just based off the cover. What is it? I don't even know what the fuck's going on here. Get out of here with that shit. Fear Strikes Out, never seen it. Let's say that it looks good. I don't know. I actually never saw The Batter, the Batter Bastards of Baseball, and I do regret that. I did hear good things about it. It, like most things baseball related, was heavily recommended to me, and I just, I just never, I just never followed up. So that's on me. I'm a clown. But I've, I've heard that it's really good. I thought it was more of a documentary uh, series on Netflix. Is it, is it a single, is it a single movie? Um, a League of Their Own. A League of Their Own is excellent. Obviously, it's delivered one of the most iconic lines regarding baseball in the world. There's no crying in baseball. I mean, that alone would not get it here. That's just a little sprinkle. The movie is fantastic. There are some brilliant acting performances in it. Madonna is awesome. Gina Davis is great. Um, Tom Hanks, of course, is wonderful as well. It's it's awesome and it's 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 different, of course, too. It's you know it's a league about women playing baseball, something you don't see very much. You can learn something too. You wanna be a real fucking dork? Watch a movie and learn something, <laughs> like me. Uh, but no, League of Their Own is is a really good movie. Gina Davis is a queen. She fucking killed the '90s. She was excellent in the '90s, and this was just one of many great movies that she was in. Uh, Eight Men Out. I don't know, maybe I just don't like, like, period shit. Like, the natural, you know, stuff that's based in the olden times. And in before my Twitch chat calls me old, because they're already doing it right now. YouTube, you guys never do that to me, and that's why I love you guys so much more than Twitch, okay? Let me just tell you one second. Let me mute them so they can't hear this. You guys are so much better than Twitch. It's unbelievable, okay? <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, uh, use your Twitch Prime. Uh, see if your Amazon Prime account is linked, and then you just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. No, just... um, but yeah, Amen Out is good. I mean, I would watch it again. I wouldn't say I really like it though. And I wouldn't say it's overrated either. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, ball player is awesome. Might even be elite, to be honest. Um, this is the movie I'm thinking of, right? Is it not Pelotero? Also, also called Pelotero? Yes, it is. Okay, just making sure that I had the, the, the right movie there. Um, unbelievable. Like, it's so good. If you haven't seen Ball Player, aka Pel Pelotero, you need to check it out. I want to see if it's still on Netflix. It was for a very long time. Let's see if it's still available for you dweebs to watch it. Oh, well, it's only on Prime Video and it says premium subscription, which means you have to like be subscribed to Stars or some shit. So, you know, whatever one it's on. So it's not really just if you have Amazon Prime, you also have to have Strand releasing? What the fuck is that? What is that? Anyway, just pay $3.99 for it, I guess. It's worth it, okay? $2.99 on YouTube. I promise you won't regret it. Um, it's about, you know, fitting that I'm doing this right now because uh, one of the people that it's about, you may be familiar with, Miguel Sano, hit three homers tonight when I'm recording this at 10.55 on, um, I don't know why I said the time instead of the date. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. On May 18th, I am a moron. But yeah, absolutely a great movie. Mr. Baseball, um, I mean, it's not overrated. I have seen it. I'd probably watch it again, let's just be real. I've already made it clear that like, put a baseball movie in front of me and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'll watch. I'll check it out. Even this piece of shit I've seen multiple times, Trouble with the Curve. I've punished my brain many a time with that. I have not seen Angels in the Outfield, um, but it looks good. Who doesn't love some angels chilling in the outfield? Isn't Tony Danza in that? Is he even the boss in that? 
or does Angela come back to rule him again as she did throughout the show? The Scout, I don't give a shit about the Scout. Sorry, get get Merc, Brendan Fraser, you dweeb. Everybody wants some is underrated, not overrated. It's underrated. I would say that's a pretty good movie. It's not like it's it's very um, you know it, it's very loosely a baseball movie. I mean, it's about a baseball team uh, in the '80s, college baseball team. But you know, there isn't that much baseball. But still a good movie, and I do I do recommend it. I've not seen Angels in the Outfield. Oh, you guys are freaking out that much over Angels in the Outfield? All right, let's see where it's available. If any of these are available on Amazon, I can do a watch party, but it's gotta be available. Yo, I don't think this is available anywhere. I don't know if I've ever seen this before, a movie that is like literally not available anywhere. Wait, how is it not on um, Disney Plus? I know, I know, I'm a nine. I know, I know. This was part of the golden era that I was talking about, and I haven't seen it. I understand. I understand. Of course, it's dumb as shit. That's fine, though. That's fine. It has to be on Disney Plus, but usually they list that when you Google it. I don't know. We don't have time to look right now. I take like 30 minutes to do it and keep it all in the YouTube video. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just had to look. What is this guy with the with this bag and this bridge behind him? I do not know what this is. Can someone clarify on that for me? I, I don't know what that is. Um, I also haven't seen Perfect Game. I mean, it doesn't have to be looks. I'm just gonna put haven't seen before. That doesn't necessarily have to look good. If I haven't seen it, it's going there. Unless I don't care to see it. Get fucked, feel the dreams. Isn't that the rookie? No, the rookie was here the one that says the rookie <laughs> sorry that was so rude perfect game is great hang on let me look that up real quick the perfect game actually is this the one about yes actually i have seen this yes 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 about the kids from monterey going to the little league world series i have seen that okay would watch again seen that on mlb network So, okay, cool, cool, cool. But does anybody know this? Oh, we can't even reverse search the image to figure out what it is because it doesn't do that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that one is. So I don't care to see this movie that I don't know. <laughs> this is, I know what this is. Um, the Traveling All-Stars. We actually, my buddy Paul... I know that's my name, I'm not referring to myself. Um, named our softball team after this before. It's like, oh yeah, the Bingo Long Traveling All-Stars and Motor Kings. I've never seen it, I'm aware of it. So I'll just put haven't seen before and I, I would watch it, but I've never seen it. It's never been made available to me to watch. Hardball, Hardball is pretty good. I like Hardball. You guys like Hardball? It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Um, oh, did I say I really like, no, no, no. I don't think Bad News Bears is an I really like. Summer Catch should be an I really like because my dumb ass keeps watching that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Bang the Drum Slowly. I do care to see it though. I would watch that. I don't know if that's available anywhere. And then we come down to these last two biopics is what I would say if I was a fucking idiot, dude. These last two biopics here, you got Tommy Lee, as Cobb and John Goodman as Babe. Now between the two, you got two really strong actors here. I think John Goodman really kills it as Babe though. And so I ended up liking that movie a bit more. The downfall part of the, of the movie is excellent too. He plays that very well. So I think I'm actually gonna say I really like Babe. Like it's, it's enjoyable. I, I, I like it. The whole now that one does go the ambitious route and try to cover the whole the whole game. It tries to run the gamut there with with Babe's life, which, like I said, is usually a little too ambitious, and I'm not always so keen on that. 
happens to work with Babe, and I think a lot of it speaks to to Goodman's ability. He's just he's just great on screen. And you know, I don't know if you guys have this effect with you know, depending on your age and, and what you grew up watching, but like certain TV dads keep this like dad like not you know like they they keep this favor in in your mind like you view them through that prism and he was the dad on Roseanne which I grew up watching and so anytime I saw John Goodman I had a positive association right away that and the fact that he's an excellent actor helps if he was a shit actor or did you know had terrible roles or whatever it'd be different but he always crushes it and then I remember him showing up on my favorite show ever Community in another brilliant turn and he just he just wins, and he was also Branch Rickey in '42. So he's got a little uh, got a little uh, baseball movie Hall of Fame case as well, playing the best, arguably the best player of all time. For me, it's it's Bonds. But uh, if you say Babe, I can't I can't totally crush you. But it would have been interesting to see him play at least like one person who was darker complected than myself. Um, so yeah, I, you know he was he was amazing. But I, I still go Barry Bonds as the best ever. Maybe even Ted Williams. Um, but yeah, so he played him and then was the like transformational uh, general manager, Branch Rickey, who brought Jackie Robinson into the fray and finally ended segregation in baseball, which obviously took entirely too long. But, you know, at least it got done eventually. And then that leaves Cobb. Again, I am a Detroit Tigers homer. Tommy Lee does a good job here, although I will say it probably adheres a little bit more to the, uh, what's his name, Al Stump? Is that his name? So for those of you that don't know, oh, Harrison Ford did, that's right. It wasn't, it wasn't Branch, uh, it wasn't John Goodman, pardon me. Totally botched that. Thank you, chat. That's why I got you guys here to help me out and roast me, deserved. Still, still like his candidacy for Baseball Movie Hall of Fame just for playing Babe, but you're right, I was wrong, pardon me. Um, back to Cobb. Al Stump, I think that's his name. Nice name. You're just mad because your name is Al Stump. You fucking stump. Uh, he wrote the Ty Cobb biography that largely has present day folks draw their opinions of Cobb. And a lot of it was overstated or outright made up in that he's portrayed much more negatively than he is. Now, was he racist? You know, yes. Like, sadly, that was the baseline for that era. I'm not excusing it, but we have to understand the era that we're talking about here. But was he the most like virulent racist who like beat the shit out of everyone who looked at him and was just this vile, awful human being and like every step of the way, the way he was portrayed in Stump's book? No. And there, there is uh, stuff out there, articles out there to the contrary and a, a full dissection of it. Just look up, you know, Al Stump, Ty Cobb biography wrong or something like something Google like that. It'll, you'll pull it up, the article. I'll see if I can find it and actually put it in the comments. Um, and you'll really get a, a clearer look on Cobb and realize that, you know, again, he had his foibles. He was not perfect or anything. I'm not, I'm not going to 180 and say he was some bastion of excellence, but he gets, he has this negative rap based on one biography that is like carried time and been like, yeah, Cobb was great, but holy shit, even for that time, he was, he was known as a piece of shit. And the, uh, by accounts, that is just not true. And Al Stump had an axe to grind and grinded it upon Cobb. So that's the list there. I mean, it's a perfect list. It's as elite as this tier up here. And I understand that. And I, I appreciate everyone saying it. I know you're going to be saying it in the comments of the YouTube. Twitch chat has not said one negative thing about this. Every comment in here has said, wow, you've done a great job with this. You're good. You look great. Today. Thank you. I do look great today. I appreciate that. You're a hero. Oh, I'm, I'm not a hero, but thank you. So yeah, just a lot of great, a lot of great comments in the chat here. <laughs> not a single disagreement. Everyone fully agreed with my field of dreams take. Zero controversy. <laughs> but where do you rank your movies? What would you change drastically here? What do you have? What do I have on the like yellow down to red area that you've got in elite? 
that isn't the colossally overrated field of dreams. Let me know in the comment below. Drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Got more baseball content coming. Let me know if you like something like this. You know, we're mostly video games here, but we figured we'd try something a little bit differently. Thank you so much for watching.